Caregivers are often misunderstood and underappreciated. They deserve to be treated with respect and dignity, but they're not always given that chance. We want to change that by sharing the stories of caregivers and how their loved ones so that we can all learn from one each other. It's time for everyone to understand what it means to be a caregiver and how much work goes into taking care of another person day to day, year after year. So let's stop looking down on caregivers because they don't have as many hours in the day or energy left at night when they come home from work. Their life is hard, just like ours. And if you think about it, we could all use some help one day when our body starts to decline, which might happen sooner than expected. Hi, I'm Han Brown, and today I want to talk about some misconceptions people have about caregiving. So now it's no secret that being a caregiver can be tough work. But what you may not know is that there are some common myths out there about how they're treated in the workplace. So let me tell you what these are so that we can get an understanding of why they happen and how we can fix them together. So let's talk about the myths and reality of caregivers. Well, the myth is caregivers are not as educated as doctors. The reality is, in fact, caregivers have a greater understanding of the human body and its functions than most medical professionals because they see firsthand how illness affects people on a daily basis. Another myth is caregivers are all women. Well, the reality is about 50% of caregivers in America are male. Another myth is that caregiving is easy work. You just watch someone sleep or sit around the house doing nothing. Well, reality is caregiving can be very difficult work that requires patience, physical strength, mental stamina, and good communication skills to deal with sometimes very difficult patients who may lash out at their caregivers. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to our channel, hit that notification button, and like the video to show your support so that we can continue doing what we do best, helping families navigate the later part of life. To get the most out of this video, please make sure to watch to the end. We have some great information on how to change the misconceptions of caregiving. Let's talk about some facts about caregiving. In the United States, there are more than 2 million family caregivers. Caregivers provide an estimated 470 billion of unpaid care annually. The average caregiver provides 20 hours a week of care to a loved one with chronic condition or disability. Women make up about 75% of the family caregivers in the United States, and 60% of these women are over 50 years old. The majority of caregivers are women, but men are becoming more involved in this field every day. A quarter of a million people have reported that they're caring for someone who has Alzheimer's disease or another form of dementia. When people think about family members, they think about children first and then parents. But caregivers come last when it comes to consideration in society at large. So let's talk about hurdles that caregivers have to overcome. Well, caregivers are often treated as if they're not capable of handling their own lives. They're told to get a job, when in reality, many caregivers do have a job and need time off from work for their loved ones. They don't always receive enough help from family and friends who may be unable to provide help because they live too far away or can't afford to take time off of work. There is a lack of caregiver support services, such as training or counseling. Caregiving takes a toll on the health of the caregiver, both mentally and physically. People tell them there is no such thing as caregiver burnout. It's impossible to feel tired or overwhelmed when you're just taking care of someone else. The primary reason why most caregivers quit is due to burnout from being overworked and underpaid. This leads many families into poverty if there isn't someone else who can fill in as a caregiver while the person recovers. Caregivers don't get enough sleep because they're always on call for their loved ones. It's common for family members to take advantage of a caregiver by asking them too much or expecting more than what the caregiver can give. Caregivers are often discriminated against for their age. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to our channel, hit that notification button, and like the video to show your support so that we can continue doing what we do best, helping families navigate the later part in life. To get the most out of this video, make sure to watch to the end. We have some great information on how to change the misconception of caregiving. Remember, caregiving is a full-time job and a very difficult one. Caregiving is a career choice, 
but is not respected as one in society. It's hard for caregivers to find the right balance between caring for themselves and caring for others. Sometimes people say things like, you should just quit your job without understanding that caregiving is a full-time job with no vacation days or sick leave. Many caregivers have to leave their jobs in order to care for someone because they can't find suitable work-life balance. The caregiver has to deal with all the household chores while caring for their loved ones, which leaves them exhausted by the end of each day. Caregivers are expected to be available 24-7 without any breaks or time off for themselves. For paid caregivers, wages and benefits are low, resulting in high turnover rates. The average professional caregiver makes $25,000 annually and it's barely enough to survive. A lot of people think that you need a college degree or certification in order to become a caregiver when you really just need patience and empathy. There is no job security for caregivers since they can be fired at any moment with little notice. Caregivers are not given the same opportunities to advance as other employees. Caregivers are not given the same respect as other professionals. So let's talk about symptoms of caregiver burnout. It's important to recognize signs of caregiver burnout. The caregiver is experiencing burnout when they feel emotionally or physically exhausted, have a feeling of dread about their work, and stop caring for themselves. Some signs of caregiver burnout are feeling irritable, having trouble concentrating on tasks at hand, or not enjoying the work anymore. If you notice any of these symptoms in yourself or someone else, then it's important to take a break from caregiving duties so that you can recover and get back into healthy mental state again. Some other symptoms of caregiver burnout includes anger, anxiety, fatigue, and hopelessness. If you think that you might be experiencing caregiver burnout, seek help from a professional or a trusted loved one. Seek out to speak to your doctor. So how can we prevent caregiver burnout? Caregiver burnout is prevented by taking care of oneself, including getting enough sleep and exercise. One way to prevent burnout is by taking time off for self-care. This includes things like sleeping, eating well, and exercising. Another way to avoid caregiver burnout is by seeking help from others. This could be a family member or other professionals. Identify your triggers and look at what is causing them. Maybe it's too much work or not enough sleep or stress from other aspects of life that are happening concurrently with caregiving. Get support from family, friends, and counselors. Set boundaries with the person that you're caring for. Find an activity that helps relieve stress. Make sure you have a support system in place. In order to make the most out of your time with us, Please make sure to watch all videos in our playlist suggested in the above links and in the below description. This way, you can comprehensively understand the content. Caregivers are often underappreciated and their efforts go unnoticed. They do a lot for people in their lives and who they care for, but not everyone knows about it or understand what goes into being a caregiver. If you know someone who is currently serving as a caregiver, we hope that this video has helped to shed some light and how difficult caregiving can be. We also want to make sure that our viewers understand that there's help available if they need assistance caring for loved ones with Alzheimer's disease or dementia. So reach out today if we can discuss how we can be of assistance in your journey. Well, I hope you enjoy the show. We cover topics like senior housing, senior living, healthcare, caregiving, healthy living tips and dementia. Keep up with us by subscribing or click on that notification button to stay up to date with our weekly videos.